An Ottawa Police Services Board member is facing calls to resign after reports that he attended the Freedom Convoy protests. There's been a deluge of outrage from councillors, provincial politicians and shock from those who served on the Police Services Board with him. CTV's Colton Prale joins us live with the latest on this. Colton. Graham, former members of the Ottawa Police Services Board calling for the resignation of Robert Sueda, saying they're shocked he didn't tell them he was at the protests, especially given the confidential policing intelligence he had access to as a member of the Police Services Board. As the dust settles on the Capitol, questions swirl around the policing of the Freedom Convoy. And Wednesday, CTV News confirming that Robert Sueda, a member of the Ottawa Police Services Board, attended the protests in the days after the trucks arrived. When looking at what is happening across Canada and the world, do you think this is still a small minority of people or is it much bigger than we originally estimated? CTV News spoke with Sueda, who refused to comment, but did not deny allegations that he attended the protests or that he donated food from his South Keys restaurant to the truckers. This is, a, this is a very different case. This is a provincial appointee who was participating in a protest that the police were heavily involved in and did not disclose um, to the public or to uh, his colleagues on the police services board, I think that's highly problematic. Now, councillors, past members of the board and some MPPs are calling for Sueda to resign. Well, I think the only right thing to do for the government, I say, and I'm calling on the Solicitor General and Premier to ask that person to step down. I don't think he belongs in that role anymore. Others saying Sueda needs to condemn the convoy or leave the board. Anybody could have joined a protest not realizing what it was going to turn into. But once they realize that, then I think it would be extremely important that they, that they come out uh, and very thoroughly criticize, condemn the activities of those people who... In a statement, Mayor Jim Watson saying he is unaware of any confirmation of the allegations, but the matter has been put to the board for review. Board Chair Eli El Shantiri confirming a meeting later this week to review the allegations. The news comes just weeks after former Chair Diane Deans was ousted and three other members, including the first black board member, resigned amid the chaos. It undermines the Police Services Board. It undermines uh, public trust and confidence in the Police Services Board at a time where they don't need uh, any more undermining of uh, trust and confidence. CTV News reached out to the province for comment, including the Solicitor General, Premier's Office, and the Office of MPP Lisa McLeod, but did not receive a response before deadline. Now, Patricia, just minutes ago, Ontario's Solicitor General's office sending us a memo saying they believe it's important that the city have faith in its police governance. As a result, they are accepting the resignation of all three members of the provincial appointed members of the Ottawa Police Services Board, and they will be appointing three new provincial members in the near future. Patricia. All right, CTV's Colton Prale with that breaking news for us tonight. Thank you.